I mean, I'm from Compton. I don't really care for it, but I'm from Compton. I don't have no choice a lot of times, but to like it. Well, when I was little, you know, I, I see the homies with certain cars, always wanted that. I always want, I don't know why, but I always wanted to be a trash man. I heard they made good money when I was little. I wanted to be a trash man. And you know, I like to have fun, ride horses, dirt bikes, everything. Everything that was fast and fun, like I wanted to do. I grew up, you know, hustling, doing what I do. I joined the gang when my brother got killed. He didn't really want me being from the neighborhood, being from anywhere, period. When he go to jail, he was in and out of jail. When he go to jail, I hang out. When he out of jail, I don't hang out. Night before around the corner, Essay get killed. They said the case has done it. So uh, the next day, motherfucker know how this gang shit go, retaliation. And uh, I walked from my house, two houses down. My homies rolled up, told him like, you know, don't be on the corner. You know what happened last night? My brother's exact words. He said, niggas know where I'm from. I ain't from over here, I'm from Carver Park. My boy gave him a pistol and an extra clip. He drove off. I'm at the corner, I'm a minor. I walked away. As soon as when I got two houses down, as soon as when I stepped in the door, I hear shots real slow. Pow, 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 pow like 15 to 20 shots go off. I could tell it was a high pitch, it was a rifle. So I walked in the house, I look out the, the window that's facing this way. My brother, this gate, this was a different gate, it was a chain gate. I seen him jump the gate. He jumped the gate, I seen him fall by the tree, but I'm thinking, you know, motherfucker shoot me, you know, getting low like we do. So after the shots go off, when once they stop, I waited for a minute. I ran out the house, went in the gate. Didn't really see them, I just seen him on the ground talking to me. And uh, somebody lift his head up. Homie's like, get the gun off of him. Somebody got the gun. I wasn't even worried about no fucking gun. So I'm just, I'm just shocked just looking at him when they raised his head up. I see he was shot in the neck. You know, my mama was going to Vegas at the time. I think my mama and my daddy was in Vegas. So uh, went to the hospital. I jumped in the ambulance, went to the hospital. They finally just, other family came, cousins and stuff and they finally said he didn't make it. So, you know, that's how that story went in. I grabbed that motherfucking pistol and loaded it up and went on one, went on a shooting rampage. I went on the street, you know, behind mine. That's what on one mean. Motherfuckers know what that mean and know what happened and know what could happen, what did happen and what would happen. Well, I'm gonna say I can't speak for everybody. I'm never, I'm never satisfied because I think about my bro all the time. I, mean, I don't care how many years it's been. That's my family, even with my family, that's just me. But the only thing, what I really look, used to love about Compton is the street racing. You know, that's what kept me here and around. Street racing, after I grew up out of this gang life, street racing and my kids. And everything I do besides the other lifestyle I live for is the gang stuff and the racing stuff I take my kids to. They know I race. When they ask me stuff about the gang stuff, I don't, I change the subject or like about my tattoos and all that. I change it or tell them it's bad. You know, don't get that type of stuff. Especially this little pinky right here. Got a lot of questions. I'm got a lot of questions. You do got a lot of questions. Like I said, she got a lot of questions. How old are you, Pinky? Three. Mm. What's your name? I like my Reese. You know how to spell your name? Yeah. How do you spell your name? E-R-Y-K-A-H. Okay. And she's three years old. Not you, three. You know how to count? Yeah. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. You, you just fucked up right there. <laughs> huh? What you want to be when you grow up? Or what you want to do? Huh? 
horsey. <laughs> you want to get a horsey? Yeah, yeah I want to get on a horsey. Oh, like I stopped riding because I got shot at on the horse around on the next street. Like this is the hood. This is Farm Dog Compton Crip. This is still the hood, you know. And uh, I got shot at on the horse, and that's why I stopped really riding. I still ride every blue moon, but I used to ride every day, every day. We got Bebe sitting up over there. She a little wild. Right there, that's Bebe. That's our horse, my kid's horse, but we don't even do nothing with her. We got her for a cheap price from the SAs, but she, uh, she wild. One thing is promise is we're gonna, when we born, we're gonna die. However way it choose. Some people tell me like, oh, he got soft for this and that. No, I grew up, I'm a man. I'm still the same person because I'm not gonna let nobody harm me. Or my kid, I fight for a different different thing now. I fight for my kids and my family now, you know? I mean, some things going in the hood that I hear, I, I do get mad and be ready to, you know, go handle business, but uh, I gotta think, you know, I get locked up. My kids love me. They choose me any day over their mother, any day. And I ain't got to coach them to say nothing. They choose me any day. Majority of my kids don't choose me any day over their mother. Aaron, who you, if you had a choice to live with daddy or mama, who would you go with? Daddy. Pinky, if you had a choice to live with me or your mama, who would you go with? Who you want to with, mama or daddy? Yeah. See, she said that. Tanaya. If you have a choice to live with daddy or mama, who would you go with? I ain't told them to say it. They say it on their own. They just get excited, even though we do live together. You know, I have my own stuff too, but I also live with them. You know, we keep a five bedroom house, but I, you know, I got my own little side stuff going on. And, you know, they always want to come. 